Hello and welcome to the Digital Chowder video blog. Uh, I'm Wayne and I'm going to be doing a series of four uh, video snippets about my favorite website builder uh, which is NicePage. Uh, this won't be a how-to in how to use NicePage. It won't be a review comparing NicePage alongside other web builders but it's going to be highlighting some of my favorite features about nice page. In this first video I'm going to be talking about the subscription plan for nice page, why I like it, why it's a good fit for me. And then I'm going to be uh, touching on the desktop app that comes with nice page allowing you to design your website and even edit, update, uh, export back and forth between the app on your desktop on your computer and uh, the um, plug-in on the WordPress website so let's get started so here we are on the nice page website and I want to go over to their premium page which outlines their uh, subscription plans and you'll see uh, here that they have four different plans and with those, you have the option of doing a subscription or doing a license. And if I click the license button here, you see the price has just changed. And, and the difference is that with the license, you're purchasing the software and you're getting one year of updates for that software. But beyond the first year, then uh, any updates that you get, you'll be paying additional for that. So I've chosen to go with the subscription. Uh, when I first started with Nice Page, I was using the um, personal plan, which allowed me five websites. And at that time, I was just doing my own business site, and I think maybe a personal site as well. And uh, it allowed me so many features, block layouts, etc. And I was able also to do a WordPress website, gave me the theme and pages off of my design to go into a WordPress website. I, I want to jump over to the Elementor page just to give a little perspective. With Elementor, um, you have three plans, starting with the Essential, which is $59 a year, and that allows you one website. And uh, from there, you jump up to the Expert, for 199 a year, which allows for 25 websites. Now to compare to that, uh, there is this middle ground between the two. If uh, I'm now on the business site and uh, $129 a year and I get 50 websites and I get more of the other features. I also get the, the WordPress um, theme and I can also get the Joomla theme which is not important to me since I don't use that. Uh, and then the next step is the Pro for $199 a year and with that you get unlimited uh, websites. Uh, this middle ground here of the business um, plan is, is what is important to me. I'm, I'm not going beyond the 50 websites anytime soon. And uh, I, I don't need to pay the additional $190, $199 for the Pro. So this work this plan works very well for me. Uh, that's, that's the big feature there. Also, if we go back over to the uh, homepage, uh, I would just point out that um, with NicePage, you get a desktop app. In other words, software for your computer. Uh, it has it both for Windows and for Mac. If you're doing a WordPress uh, website, then you get a WordPress plugin, or if you're doing Joomla, you get that plugin. Uh, so this allows you to design your website. You can do the whole website on your computer before you import it to WordPress online. Uh, and uh, you can, at any point along the way, as you go forward with your website, you can do your editing on the desktop if you choose. 
or you can do it online, whichever. I do both. Uh, I like, though, to be able to do the editing on my desktop, knowing that when I do a save, it's not going to go public. Uh, and that's a little more difficult to do online uh, unless I revert back to a draft mode for my page and basically take it offline. And so the desktop works well for me there. So I want to jump on over now to the um, desktop app and we'll talk about it a little bit. So this is my desktop application and you'll see listed down this left hand column various websites that I have and uh, I can click on any one of those and begin to work on them. Uh, I can also um, delete any of the websites that, I, that I'm not working with any longer. I can create a new website also from this page, which I'm going to do right now just to give you a little bit of an idea. So I'm creating a new website and I can choose now if I want to just start with a blank website and start from scratch, build, put in my own elements, my own design. I can, I can even work uh, from uh, graphic design programs and put the graphics, build off of the graphics of that, however I want to do it. Uh, an option that I tend to do is to uh, select a category. Let's say I want a, a site that has that is about business and law. So uh, I've got several sites here I can choose from that give me sort of a starter template. And uh, so I select one and it's now going to set up a website for me providing uh, the first three pages. I'll just go back here and show you. It gives you the home page, a contact page, and an about page. But you can eliminate any of these pages and add additional pages uh, as you choose. I'm going to go back to the home page. And here um, you're set up in blocks, which is, which is the mode of operation these days. Uh, each of these sections is a block. And uh, I, I normally will start with the setup and just sort of the general layout. I'll be changing most, if not all, of the graphics. Uh, but it gives me a template to work from to start really um, conveying the message that I want to convey through the website. And one thing about nice page that I have not seen with Elementor or other design programs is the modal. Uh, I like using the modal which saves me from having to navigate to another page. I can simply get a pop-up modal uh, that can convey uh, a graphic, a, a additional message or information or whatever it is. There's just considerable flexibility in power and I like the the freedom of design that nice pace gives me compared to some some of the other builders out there uh, I'm not as locked in to the system uh, as as I could be I'm allowed much more freedom the last feature I want to mention in this video is the public is the publishing feature and here I just click on the publish button up here uh, the website I can publish this to an a, a website that is posted at um, nice page and it comes with my subscription is I don't have to pay for this and I just use it uh, as a demonstration for my client I can I can just simply select a website uh, change the name here if I want and then publish website and I give them that li that link and they can go there and view their website uh, exactly like it's going to be and uh, then whenever I'm ready to actually um, launch the website I'll go to the WordPress theme uh, and, and export that 
I can choose to export the theme if I want to add e-commerce to it I can do that you get all your pages along with it so that's all that we're going to try to cover with this uh, video and we'll see you in the next one